So far in this course, we've added in quite a few different resources. And as you might expect, this resource list can get pretty long. So it's much easier for us to manage all of our resources when we can find them quickly. So what we can do when we're working in this resource sheet is we can do things like sort them by type and put them into alphabetical order. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to jump up to the view ribbon. We're going to go across to the split view group and I'm going to turn off the details pane so that we have a little bit more room to work with. Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to sort my resources by type. So we're going to find our sorting options again up on the view tab in the data group. We have some sort options just here. Now, because I want to sort this list by type, I need to make sure that my mouse is clicked in the type column. So I don't have to click the column header or select the whole column. I can just simply click anywhere in that type column, because then when I click the sort drop down, I can choose to sort by cost, by name or by ID. Now for my sort, I'm going to go straight down to sort by because this will allow me to perform multiple sorts on my resource list. Now, if I click the drop down just here, it gives me a number of different fields that I can sort my resource list by. I can then choose if I want to sort in ascending or descending order and then choose the next column that I want to sort by. Now I'm going to choose to sort by type in descending order first, and then I'm going to sort by name in ascending order. And right at the bottom here where I have permanently renumber resources, I'm going to make sure that I have that ticked. Because what that means is that when my list of resources gets sorted, those ID numbers are going to move with that resource number. So let's click on sort. So now let's take a look at that. We sorted by the type column, first of all, in descending order. So effectively Z to A. So that's why we have our work resources at the top, then material, then cost. I then chose to sort by the name. So the resource name in this case in ascending order. So A to Z. So if you take a look at this block of work resources, we should find that those are sorted A to Z in alphabetical order. And the same for the other resources that we have in here. Now, as soon as we sort these different resources, project renumbers them. So as the resource name moves rows, when we sort this data, it renumbers those particular resources. So if admin assistant was down towards the bottom, maybe in position 10, when we performed our sort, because it begins with A, it jumped to the top of the list and project renumbered so that this is now task number one. Now, if you don't want to continually be renumbering your resources, make sure you go back into sort and into sort by, deselect permanently renumber resources, and then you can simply click cancel. Now, another thing we have to watch out for when we're working with our resources is duplicates. And duplicates are surprisingly easy to create because let's face it, everybody makes typos every now and again. So what do I mean by this? Well, if we were to type a new resource name in an assignment, project automatically creates a brand new resource by default. So if we don't have any kind of control over that, it means that anybody can click in one of the tasks and type in whatever they like into the resource assignment. So we want to make sure that we're putting a little stopper in there to prevent duplicates from happening. So to do this, we're going to jump up to the file tab. We're going to go down to options right at the bottom and we're going to jump across to advanced. Now, if we go towards the bottom here under the section general options for this project, notice that we have ticked automatically add new resources and tasks. So we want to take the check out of this box and click on OK. So let's take a look at that change in action so you can understand a bit more what it's stopping you from doing. So we're going to load the Gantt chart back up. So let's make sure we're on view and click the top half of the Gantt chart button. And I'm going to open up task details. Now let's select any of these tasks. I'll just go for task number five. Notice in the task form view, we have a resource assigned, but what I could do is click in this little space underneath. And instead of selecting a resource from the list, which is more controlled, I could effectively just start typing whatever I like into this particular box. So I'm going to type in training team lead, but I'm going to make a typo. So instead of training, I've put training. Let's hit enter. And you can see I'm getting this message. 
the resource you typed, Training Team Lead, is not in the resource pool. To add the resource to the resource pool, click Yes. If you don't want the resource to be added into the resource pool, then click No. So this is going to stop me in my tracks and essentially force me to check what I've typed in. So I don't want to add this. I'm going to click on No because I don't want to create a duplicate resource with one of them spelled incorrectly. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.